Hi, I'm Carl Franklin. In this episode of the .NET Show, I'll start the processes required to deploy a MAUI app to the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. I'm starting from zero. We'll create brand new developer accounts in both Google and Apple. In fact, that's all we're going to achieve in this episode because we have to wait for our accounts to be approved. After that, we can move on to publishing the .NET Rocks podcast client app that we built in episodes 28, 30, 31, and 33. This will be the first in a series that you can use as a guide to publish your own MAUI apps to the mobile app stores. Publishing Part 1 is coming right up on the .NET Show. So I'm starting with this repo, building a mobile podcast client app in Maui Blazor part four. And if you remember, this is our .NET Rocks application. So we're going to try to publish it, or at least register it. And we're going to start with Android. So just so you remember what this is, let's run it. I'll run it on my Windows machine. And here it is. Here's our latest episode, 1840. And we can filter, like if I want to say web right here, now we get uh, a list of every episode with the word web in the title. When I go to details, there are the details right there. This is the application that we're going to register, okay? And it also works on Android and iOS and Mac Catalyst. So the first thing you need to do is create a Play Console developer account. Now, I'm already logged in as carlofranklins.net because that's my Google login. And uh, if you want to switch accounts, you can do that right here. This is the email account uh, that this will be associated with. So to get started, we're going to choose an account type. Are we creating an account for an individual or an organization? And I'm going to do this as an individual, a hobbyist developer. I'll still be able to earn money on Google Play and invite others to join my account, okay? So now I want some information about me. That's good enough. Any other Google accounts? No, I haven't used any other Google accounts to access the Play Console in the past six months, so I'm gonna say no. Now, this is important. The URL of the website. This won't be shown on Google Play, but here's the deal. You're going to need a website just to corroborate things like your privacy policy and all of that. So, you, you know, you're a developer. You can put together a website pretty quickly. I'm going to do this. The .NET show .com. Okay? And I'm going to click Next. Now we want the public name for the developer account. So I'm just going to enter my name here. Carl Franklin. And you know what? Contact name. Also, here's my email address. Kind of verify the email address. It's verified through the Google accounts. Very good. My language, English, United States. My country, United States. My address and the phone number. Okay, we'll hit next. Great. Oh, really? So in developer account, I'm gonna enter the .NET show. All right, now we're at the apps screen. How many apps do you plan to publish on Google Play in the next 12 months? I don't know. How about two to five? Do you plan to earn money from the apps you publish on Google Play? Mm, yeah. Maybe we'll do some in-app purchases, right? Or maybe some subscriptions. Yeah. Now we're going to select app categories. Do you plan to publish any of the following types of apps on Google Play? Apps designed for kids or families? Nah. Banking? No. 
No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. So, none of the above. Okay, we have to accept the terms. Click this and read it thoroughly. As well as this one. Now let's create the account. And pay. 25 bucks. Now I've created my developer account. Let's go to the console. All right, so before I can publish any apps, I have to verify my identity. This can take up to two business days. So what I'm going to need, a driver's license, passport, state ID, or green card. I'll go through this process and I'll spare you the details. And I just took pictures of my license. I'll upload, email them to myself. So I got this far after uploading pictures of my license, and now I have to provide a photo of a second proof of address document from the following list. A utility or phone bill, a bank statement, a lease or mortgage agreement. So now I'm uploading a bank statement, and it says, thanks for submitting your information. The verification process may take a few days, We'll send you an email with the results. So that's pretty much where we stop right here. Let's uh, do the same thing on iOS. Okay, so I've decided that I don't want to use my existing Apple ID. I want to create a brand new Apple ID for this project and go through the whole process from the get-go. So this is what you would have to do if you don't have an Apple ID that's already associated and approved and, and all that. So this is what I'm going to do. It's going to be my name. It's going to be the United States, and I'll put in my birthday. Now, this is going to be my Apple ID. So I'm going to use .NET Rocks at franklins.net. Now I'm going to create a password, put in my phone number, verify with a text message. So the next thing we're going to do is go to developer.apple.com and click on account. And now there's an agreement that I have to sign. I'm going to read the agreement. And then say, I have read and I agree. You shouldn't do that, by the way. You should read every word of it. Now, I have to join the Apple Developer Program, and I'm going to enroll today. Continuing enrollment on the web. Fill out a few fields, and continue. Now I'm going to develop as an individual or sole proprietor. I'm going to review and accept this agreement. And now I have to pay my $99 fee. Placing my order. All right, and we're all set. All right, so I've already purchased my membership and you don't need to re-enter any credit card or anything, if you've got the email that says you're, you're pending, you now just have to wait for 48 hours. So here's what we got. We got our Android account ready to go, waiting for confirmation, and we've got the Apple developer account waiting for confirmation. And that's where we're going to leave it today. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please visit blazertrain.com and the.netshow.com for more great content.